Hello everyone! Today I am so excited because we're gonna make this homemade vegan cheddar cheese that is so good and we're gonna make a really epic grilled cheese with it after. So this recipe contains no nuts, no soy, no gluten. So what is it made out of? Red lentils. Okay, I had this idea. I was like, they get creamy, they get thick. We could definitely make a vegan cheese sauce with this. So first we're gonna soak them for about five minutes in just some water. It gets off any dirt, any starch things like that. Once the water's cloudy like that, you can drain that water out. We don't need it anymore. Then we're going to pop those clean lentils into about a medium-sized saucepan with one and a half cups of water. And we are going to let this boil down until the lentils turn into complete mush. You want them to be super broken down. Boil it for about 20 minutes on medium-high heat and they're going to turn a much paler yellow and like i said the there's going to be mushy the water's going to completely just evaporate down and that is exactly what we're looking for we want these lentils to be as soft as possible so something like this when it's all done Our very other important ingredient for this cheese recipe is tapioca flour or tapioca starch. You can find it at most food stores and you can also find it online. I will have it linked down below. It's gluten free, made from the cassava flour, and this is what's going to give the cheese its stretchy gooiness. So first we're going to add a quarter cup of non-dairy milk, unsweetened, unflavored, into our blender. And then we're going to add in those cooked down lentils. And we're just going to blend these lentils up on their own first just to help them get really, really broken down. So just blend that for about 30 to 45 seconds. It'll look something like this. It should be kind of thick, almost kind of looks like hummus. Then we're gonna add in another quarter cup of non-dairy milk. And again, please unsweeten, unflavored. You don't wanna have any weird sweetness or vanilla in here. Then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of our tapioca flour. Then we're going to add in two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This gives it some extra nutrients and it gives it that cheesy flavor. Then we're gonna add in half a teaspoon of paprika. This is gonna really help to amp up the color. We're gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder just to give it some extra little flavor. Then we're gonna add in a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of salt. Do this to your preference. I found one teaspoon of salt was good for me. It might be too salty for you. Do it to your preference. And a little squeeze of lemon juice, not very much, just a little bit, just to add a touch of brightness. And then you're just gonna pop this back onto the blender and blend it again for about 45 seconds until it's all well incorporated. It should look something like this. It should be very pourable. If it's not, feel free to add in like another one tablespoon of non-dairy milk. Bring it to the stove and we're gonna cook it to thicken. So you're gonna put the stove on about medium heat and you're gonna stir this frequently. For about five minutes, it's gonna look very soupy and thin and then it's gonna to start to kind of clump up and then it'll really, really thicken up as it heats up and get that perfect gooey, stretchy nature, which is what we're looking for. So don't worry if it takes a few minutes, this takes about five minutes to happen. So don't fret, it's okay. And it'll look something like this and it's gooey. And as it cools, it'll also thicken. So this is it right off of the stove. As you can see, it's stretchy and gooey, but it's still almost a little bit thin. And this is it after a few minutes, you can see it's thicker, gooier. And yeah, so as it cools, it does thicken. So now what are we gonna do with this? I think that we should make a vegan grilled cheese. Let's do it. So first we need vegan butter and I like to actually melt my vegan butter down a little bit and then I'm gonna add in some garlic powder and that's what we're gonna coat on our bread. So we're just using plain good old white bread. So we're just gonna add some of that vegan butter on there and then we're gonna spread about a quarter of this vegan cheddar cheese that we made. Pop your other slice of bread on there. I'm gonna wait to butter that. Don't forget to butter it, but I'll butter it when I put it in the pan. Just wanna make sure that you remember to butter that other side because that's what makes it golden and crispy. And then I'm gonna spray my pan with a little bit of cooking spray and we're gonna pop that butter side down. I made two sandwiches and then I'll just finish brushing the tops with the remaining vegan butter on there. And then you're just gonna let those cook low and slow till it gets nice and golden and toasty to your preference. So everyone has a different grilled cheese preference. Do it how you like, flip them over, you know the drill. Grilled cheese is pretty easy to make. I think we should all know how to make it. And now you have to cut it on a diagonal. Don't you dare cut it any other way. Diagonal is the way to go and we all know it. And yeah, this is it. This was so good. I did add a little bit more of the cheese in there for the picture just to make it look good and spray it with some water. You know, we had to do a little food photography magic, but I'm so excited to share this recipe with you all. You can use it anywhere you want. It is perfect for, you know, enchiladas, quesadillas, anywhere you want to use cheddar cheese. Full recipes on the blog and written out down below. And that is all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video.